Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So everyone I'm here doing a random collective reading. We're just going to go through it together see what comes out right. Um, this reading is for the collective so it is not going to resonate with all of you okay. Just take what doesn't does resonate and toss what doesn't you know if it doesn't resonate with you don't freak out. And um, thank you to everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Thank you so, so much. Um, just looking at the cards, guys. They all kind of just sort of spit out at me. All right, the first thing I'm seeing here is that you've been growing something for a while, okay? I feel like... It's taken you a, a, a kind of a, I don't want to say a long time, but you've put in a, a lot of effort here for a while, right? And you may not be seeing yourself growing taller, but what you don't notice is that you've been growing this huge foundation here, and that's going to be your support for when this thing takes off. I feel like you could be, you could have a project, you guys could have a business that you're growing. I'm seeing a lot of hairstylists, nails. I'm seeing a lot of bakers too. I don't know why I keep getting bakers and florists. Um, artists too at the same time. But um, whatever it is that you're doing, you're putting all of your effort into it. You're putting a lot of love and nurturing into growing this thing. And, you know, it is growing. But you had to work on, the, on that foundation first, right? Uh, but this is something that is very important. It's like you're connected to it. You, um, this could be your livelihood. This is something that means a lot. To, it means the world to you. And I feel like you want to protect it. So right now, you're, I feel like you're in the process of building this, this big bubble around you. Okay? Not letting anything um, get to you or whatever this is that you're growing. Okay? Yeah, you've got a lot of boundaries here. Um, I feel like trust is an issue too. You know, this flower comes at you. It doesn't look like it's going to hurt you. <laughs> but yet at the same time, you're, you're not even accepting of something that seems delicate. You know what I mean? You just, um, you're just protective right now. You're sort of in protective mode. And protecting yourself. You could have trust issues here. Um, from the things that you've been through in the past, okay? You know, it's taken you a lot of time, effort, healing to reach this, this point in growth, okay? And you're doing really good, and you don't want to let any kind of riffraff back in. You don't. You're protecting this now. Um, I feel like you know you've, you've been... Um, you've been with the divine, right during this whole entire process they've been giving you signs synchronicities i feel like you really surrendered to this path um you're you still may have a lot to learn in this journey but right now you're at a point where um you've read much of this you've climbed this ladder okay and you're going off to calmer waters now kind of co-creating here with the divine we've got an 11 11 here um 22 could mean something for you. You could be 26, 36. I just feel like this to me is a 9, okay? That means you're almost there, and you are. You made it through this whole entire journey. Right now you're going to calmer waters, just, just asking the divine with all of this knowledge that you've got, can you just please take me somewhere where you want me to be? I've surrendered on this path here. And you're almost there. You're almost to the end here in this portal. Uh, I feel like you you stand here with still a wish, though. Um, and I feel like you're that's one of the things you you should probably release. That's what I'm thinking. You've had a lot of patience with something here, and I feel like you're standing here right on the edge of walking into a whole new life for yourself. Okay. So there may be something that you need to release in order to do that. Oh, yay. Let's look into it, okay? Let's see what's going on. 
what's happening divine with the situation um and i feel like although you don't trust something here trust is an issue you still hold on to something um maybe this is that something that you don't trust too You've had a lot of patience with this, but it, it, you're, you know, it's your time here to let your, your new life open up for you. All right, what else can you show me here for the person watching? Thank you. Yeah, you've got the Ten of Cups coming towards you. You just don't know that yet. Um, this is what's coming towards you in this new portal here. Once you get in this boat and you go to calmer waters and you surrender to this path here, um, this is what's coming for you. Just uh, This is the kind of life that everybody dreams of having, person watching. <laughs> this is the Ten of Cups, right? You've got a happy, very, like, seriously, whoever you meet is going to be awesome for you. A happy family, home. Um, a bubbling brook, right? You've got um, complete comfort here, abundance and health, love, um, happiness, right? Gleeful children dancing around. And I mean, literally, with the Ten of Cups, you've got the kind of life that everyone dreams of having. And that's what's coming towards you. You know, it, that's what's coming for you. That's what's out here for you. You just have to walk a little bit. You're almost there with a nine. You're almost there. <laughs> just like seven more steps, right? You're almost there. But I feel like you don't want to leave something behind. And you may need to leave something behind. Because it looks like just you out here. So that this whole new beautiful life can open up for you. Okay. All right. What else can you show me? A lot of cards are coming out in big clumps. I hate that. Um, there could be someone from your past here that wants a new beginning with you as well. You're going to hear from this person. They're kind of like trying to figure out how to communicate with you. I feel because they also know that you're headed towards this um, yeah wanting to have a victory seeing things from a whole new perspective this could be a Pisces they've gotten some clarity here but they're still like upside down a little bit in their life but they're they're putting on their Sunday best and polishing up this horse and uh, putting a wreath on their head, and they want to come in and have a victory with you, okay? Can't stop thinking about you. You may have known this person, like, for years, your whole life, grew up with them maybe, or you could even have kids with them. But this is somebody who, I feel like they offered you a couple love in the past and then pulled it away, and you were very innocent in that. So take it how that resonates for you, okay? Could be dealing with the fire sign. Now this person wants to, t you know, they want to go after what they want. They want to go after what they want with a passion, right? Could be very good looking, smells good, a really good, you know, um, smooth talker, right? Maybe does some impulsive things. What flew out on the floor? Yeah, this is somebody who walked away from you before. This is somebody from your past coming in. They see that you're headed towards wish fulfillment. And now they want to come towards you. They walked away from you in the past. I'm seeing this is Earth Angel energy. Um, yeah, they probably shouldn't have walked away from you in the past. Now they want to come back in. All right, what else can you show me here for the person watching, my collective? You could be dealing with the fire sign. You could be dealing with a Pisces, um, Sagittarius, any water sign really, but yeah. Any other messages for the person watching? 
yeah, whoever this is is hanging on to your energy, but I feel like they they could even be hanging on to separate people here. I'm kind of seeing these as as other options for, that this person could have, okay? And this is somebody who just hangs on and hangs on and hangs on. Um, they could be, they could hang on to their exes. You know what I mean? Kind of, they could even be codependent a little bit. Um, but they're very guarded. They do have this new beginning on their mind, though, on the top of their brain. I feel like they're just so burdened they can't take it anymore, to be honest with you. This is a man down, can't carry these burdens anymore. I feel like this person just hangs on to multiple people, and I think you're one of them. You're, you're, you're one of them. But now they can clearly see what, it all, what all that there is that they're losing here. That's the Ten of Cups, the ultimate dream life. That's what they're losing with you. Um, yeah, and that's their justice because they have too many people around them. This person juggles. And they hang on to maybe pains from the past even. Past hurts, past people. You know, I feel like they can't seem to let something go here. And it's causing a tower moment here for this person um, because I, I feel like they're going to have to let you go. I, I, I feel like this person wants to try to find any kind of way that they can come in here, but it's really foolish behavior. It's um, immature, right? Sneaking in and out, just taking from you, then schmoozing you, then coming back in, and then schmoozing you again. Um, yeah, they're coming back in too, but I feel like, I feel like this time it's different for some reason. This time you're guarded. This time you're focused on your own personal growth. And I think through this journey, you became very, very strong and you're following what the divine wants you to do. This time it's different. Yeah, I feel like they can't just come back in, use this wand as some immature flirting crap to get their way. That's really what it feels like. And, you know, this King of Wands, they know what they're doing when it comes to getting what they want. But this person is very immature. They give you lies, deception, in and, like I said, in and out energy, not really um, communicating with you properly, right? It's very immature, very flirtatious. I think you're just not paying attention to this person anymore because of it. You're not. And you've got your guard up here. You're focused on other things. And you're about to enter into a whole new lifestyle. And um, yeah, now there's nonstop thinking about you. Yeah. And you're going to be abundant too. You're the Queen of Pentacles. Um, you're sitting on the Queen of Pentacles throne. So you basically you're the most financially stable queen in the deck. You can take care of everything on your own here. You're stable, grounded. Okay, sweet. And this person's watching this as you stand in your strength. That's this. You've got your boundaries up, right? You're not speaking to this person. They're, they're studying you. Maybe even how did, how did uh, the collective get this financially stable? Well, you're keeping your mouth shut. You're not spilling your secrets, that's for sure. Because I think you know who it is that you're dealing with. And I also think you know um, what you're worth. All right, what else can you show me here? Yeah, I feel like this person's coming back in, but only to schmooze you with the same kind. See, the, here's the thing. They're using the same kind of... Um, treatment towards you and and communication towards you that they've always used before i feel like this person's been in and out okay so they've done this before 
now you know exactly how to recognize it okay you know how to recognize this happening and and I feel like you're just you're too strong now you're gonna be like no uh -uh, I'm not falling for it again all right and they remember you as being like a sweetie sweet you know what I mean and someone who wouldn't hurt a fly someone very very innocent but here you're like no I have my abundance to protect look this and this it's the exact same thing as this and this did you realize that it's the exact same thing so yeah you're gonna protect all that you've built you're going to protect that growth because you know what? I, I think you know somebody here is playing little silly freaking kid games with you. And they keep using the same thing that they did before. And you're going to notice it. Yeah. It's immature. And they plan it out. And then they snicker about it as soon as they walk away. So... You know, be careful around this person, right? Yeah, they may come in and love bomb you. Yeah, it's all manipulation. This is manipulation. Okay, this is manipulation. They're going to come in and love bomb, but I love you. But, yeah, but they'll say it in a way that they actually don't tell you that they love you. You know, they'll still breadcrumb you, and it'll get you all trapped in your mind again. And that's exactly where they want you. Thinking that they're taking you to calmer waters, but no, they face plant you around all of these um, burdens all over again, stuck in your head, unable to have any kind of opinion, unable to talk about it while they're in control of the boat. Huh? How do you like that? That's what this person's going to be coming to do. They're going to come in and sweet talk you, but... Just say enough so that they can't, you know, that they're not going to, I feel like they're not going to come right out and tell you they love you. They're going to tell you things like, don't you know how much I care about you? You know, don't you, don't you know how much I think about you? How I feel for you inside? You're going to be like, what? Can you speak louder? I can't hear you through the glass bubble. Can you speak up? <laughs> right? Yeah, they're only coming in. Look, well, this is uh, Ace of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. So maybe this person is coming in for love, but um, I see them doing too much scheming here, to be honest with you. Give me one more. Could you speak louder through the glass bubble, please? No, you're not allowed in. Just stay out there, but talk to me more. To, to just be louder so I can hear you through the bubble. You're going to keep your defenses up, I feel. Your boundaries up, yeah. And you're going to be using your intuition because you know... You, you know what they're, what they're telling you is, is easy on the ears... It is. It's very, it, it sounds fantastic. Okay, collective, but you know it's manipulation. And you know that it's, it's just their same old way that they've always communicated with you before to come in and just take what they want and leave, which is going to leave you trapped in your mind all over again. All over again. Anyway, that's what I've got for this quick reading. Um, I hope this helps. I really do. Um, you know, I feel like we're getting to the tail end, though, right, of this, of this part of the journey. So uh, a cycle is closing out. A new one is opening for you. All right? Just keep your boundaries up. Use your intuition and your discernment with everyone who comes towards you, okay? And um, if you guys like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow, right? Become a new Mooney. 
And until next time, person watching, take care of you and peace out.